Welcome to another episode of The Read Pile. I will be talking about... I've already done a video on this. I will be talking about Iron Wolf in a minute, but I finished... This is maybe a week ago. I finished the Mignola section that he drew in this, and I got into the Walt Simonson, the Chaikin, the stuff. I got into all of this. But there was this afterward, and in the afterward he's talked about it. It's also worth reading. Highly recommend it. In this, he's talking about Iron Wolf, and I'm like, oh, I have Iron Wolf. I should reread that. I will quickly note that my early assessment when I did a video of this, when I was only about eight pages in, um, I was recommending it, and that still holds true. It is an incredible read, highly recommended. You still have time. Grab a copy of this if you haven't already. So Iron Wolf, um, some years ago, I'd never heard of it, but years back I was at the comic shop and um, I believe someone had just sold their collection back to the shop and Berg was talking about this. It was, uh, I'd, I'd never seen it there before. He was talking it up. I'm like, sure, because I saw these names. And I'm like, yeah, sure, okay, good enough. Berg recommends it. Those names, sure. And it's, frankly, incredible. It's 96 pages. It's roughly three issues, the tiny amount of research that I did. Um, it was three issues in the tail end of a series that DC was canceling. So uh, I think DC just let these guys loose, and they did whatever they wanted. And, it, frankly, it is amazing. It's spectacular. It's some of the craziest stuff I've read, seen, um, not just in comics, but like television movies in, uh, frankly, quite some time. This is borderline kind of the European style of just like manic story action, not lingering on any one thing to like, uh, I don't know. I don't know anyone that's doing anything like this. So it starts with the sort of uh, chase fight and you get some weird politic family drama stuff going on. And you see that this ship here is made out of wood. There are wooden spaceships. There are, um, there's a better shot, kind of a dildo shaped. But um, there's vampires, there's cat people, there's a galactic empire. There's uh, just so much stuff going on. It's weird. I mean, he's got like Highlander vibes with a flintlock. And there's so much stuff going on. And it's, frankly, incredible. Like I said, no one else is writing comics like this. No one else is writing anything like this. I get this huge guy there. I was reading this and remembering other things. It's like wooden spaceships. I was thinking of Tenchi Muyo also with the Galactic Empire and family drama stuff. I was thinking a little bit about Battle on Five, again, with just the factions in space and... Um, all of that stuff came later and like this predates everything except star wars basically like it's it's crazy the amount of oh, look at this i love oh every page is an absolute delight to both look at and to read this is incredible this i think is from 92 there was another version put out in like 2002 maybe Again, the minor amount of research that I did. But this is probably going to be hard to find. And this says that there was a soft cover in 93. This, like I said, is probably going to be hard to find. You might be able to get it digitally. But if you find this, grab this. It is incredible. I loved it. Again, the writing is just incredible. The art, gorgeous. Um, Mignola talks about... Fafford and Mauser as being his favorite pre-Hellboy stuff, but good God. I mean, this is... It's so good. And there's just... It's so rich and deep. Look at... It's crazy. It's absolute insanity. A little bit of uh, Meta Barons dashed in there too. I was talking about Tenchi and Babylon 5 and Meta Barons. And... Nobody's doing anything like this. And uh, I think that's everyone else's fault because more stuff should be like this. Again, I can't praise this enough. It's simply incredible. <laughs> 